Alright, here's the deal. It's 23 below zero outside, and we thought, let's get some boiling water and throw it up in the air and see what happens. It's supposed to evaporate and not even hit the ground, really. So, let's see if that works. Okay, you ready? That wasn't what I expected. That well, was it's turned cool, into though. snow, it's like ice, yeah. All right, we gotta try that again. Take two, we got another hot one. Lincoln has water from the faucet. So, okay, Lincoln, give it a go. Okay, here we go, we got a new one here. Oh, it caught all over me on that one. Did you see it? That was cool. You take three, this is the hottest so far. Oh, that looks cool. I like that one. That was almost boiling water, so that's what it looks like. It actually works. A lot of it evaporates, some of it hits the ground, but it's a fun experiment. This guy right here, his name is Earl Beislein. He's Leslie's grandfather, and he is inducted into the National Mining Hall of Fame that's in Leadville, Colorado. We have some dirt from some of his claims, and we're gonna go see if we can get some gold from it. Grandpa's teaching the girls how to gold pan right now, seeing if we can catch some. Catch some gold. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and then you just kind of wash it. You're washing it, so you go from one side to another side, but you gotta get, and then you gotta get rid of all the big rocks, but it takes a while to do it sometimes. If there's any gold, you're not gonna see it on top. It's gonna be at the very bottom. And why is it gonna be at the very bottom? Because it's the heaviest. It's the heaviest. It's heavier than anything else. Oh, whoa, I see something. Oh. You see some little flakes? Yeah. See? So you know there's gold in there. Look at all those pieces of gold. Yeah. See that? Look at all of it up there. Those are some pretty big nuggets. That's a big, heavy nugget right there. There we go. There's the gold that came out of that dirt. The next thing that we're gonna do is this. Check it out. We have Miss Butterworth's and Uncle Luke's maple syrup. We got Uncle Luke's because it's 100% pure, where Miss Butterworth's is the highest ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. Um, there's a little thing that we saw that you can take maple syrup, put it on some wax paper, put it outside in the cold, and it'll turn into candy. I like candy. I like candy. Love candy. Let's do it. This is what Lincoln's working on. He put this mini Coca-Cola, this Gatorade, and this water bottle out here. What's your thinking? Awesomeness. They're going to sit out here overnight, and they're going to freeze. The Coca-Cola one is going to crack, I bet. And then the Gatorade will freeze, and the water will freeze. And it will have lots of ice around it and stuff like that. that. Sounds awesome! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah! All right, let's put it up on here. Now let's try Miss Buttersworth, or should I say Miss High Fructose Corn <laughs> Syrup Worth. They look so much different. They do look a little different, right? When the Uncle Weeks is darker. Okay! Here we go. Yeah, this is Miss Butterworth. Let's put her over here. And then leave him out? Uncle Luke's. We'll put him over here. Remember that position. We're gonna go inside for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, see what happens. I think it's time to go and check on our candy. Let's see candy. Yeah, let's see if we've got candy yet. I'll touch these ones. I don't think so. Ooh. Um oh. we need some more time. They're still syrupy. It's been about 40 minutes. We'll come back later. This is our next experiment. We have miracle, super miracle bubbles. What's the thought here? Hopefully you blow them and they turn hard before they hit the ground. Have you done this before? I don't remember doing it. She's from Alaska, so she I think, would know. I think we should have Lincoln put his tongue on a pole. No, it's so awful. <laughs> it is awful, okay. That's a different experiment. <laughs> Back to the bubbles. But you have to blow it up really high in the air. Is it so even going to blow or is it going to freeze before I... No, it'll, it'll, it'll do it, but you, gotta, okay. you have to have some height. 
Bubble time. We got all the kids out here. It's bubble time. Everybody wants to see this. It's been a while since I've blown bubbles, but I think it's like riding a bike. You just like never forget how. Let's see. Let's see if I can catch one for Instagram. No, oh, I kind of did it. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> keep popping. All right, let me try. Ah, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, okay. Okay, so it popped, that one popped, and then it just like half of the, the bubble was still intact, and it kind of crumbled away. Oh, <laughs> it keep popping on my face. <laughs> Lincoln, that was the best level blowing all night. I know. Very good. You're talented. Level. Why did you hide this talent from me? Okay, here's one right here. Check it out. See how it's getting hard? Whoa! Look at that. Oh, it's cracking! It's cracking! It's an egg! Oh! Let's see if I can catch it. Oh yes! Look at it breaking apart! It works, Lincoln! You're the master of bubbles! My hands are so cold right now, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm struggling. Oh! Oh, that's a winner! Come on, come on, bubbles. Come on. Oh, look at that break in my hand, see that? Okay, look at this bubble. Lincoln caught this bubble. Okay, you think I can pick it up? It's been there for a long time. It likes me. Oh boy, it just broke. It's like a contact lens. Look at that. Gotta get some more of them. Wow, that's cool. Okay, it's morning. We waited all night long, and we're about to fly out, but we have to see if this candy worked. So I'm venturing out into the cold. It's much colder this morning after a long night of darkness. Let's go check it out. There's our candy. It looks hard, finally. There it is. It's not dripping. Let's get Lincoln's. Lincoln's three things. We don't have room in the freezer. Let's just put the bag of ice by the front door. <laughs> it's not even like what? frozen. What is this magical liquid? It's not even frozen. It's been out there all night. What is that? Gatorade. Is the Gatorade? Okay, the Gatorade's frozen, the water bottle's frozen, but this? It feels like it's gonna burn my fingers off because it's so cold. Look at that, Claire, that was out there all night. We need to do further studying, but we're about to get on an airplane. So let us know, do these mini bottles of Coca-Cola actually have Coca-Cola in them? Does Coca-Cola freeze? Does Coca-Cola freeze when it's in a bottle? Because that was over 12 hours outside. Nothing. Let's try this out. Ooh. Okay, well. That's a, this, uh. Ew. That's not frozen. That's not frozen, so that the 100% pure is not frozen. Let's try the ant, uh, whatever it's called. No. 23 degrees below zero. And. It's still syrupy. That is a big failure. Whoever gave us that idea of doing candy outside, it didn't work. We've got a couple things we need you guys to let us know on. What's up with the candy thing? And also, what's up with the Coke thing? I don't get it. Claire, do you get it? No. So we did bubbles. That worked. We went gold panning. That worked. We got gold. We tried to do candy. That didn't work so well. We threw boiling hot water in the air. That was super cool and we froze bottles of liquid and two out of the three worked. So we still have a little bit of a mystery here, but there you go. There's your Alaskan tricks to do outside adventure. Hashtag Alaskan cold. Hashtag I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys.